Hi, I'm Michael Cleland from Loop16. Now, DA8 Squared believes in the power of robotics to transform the agility of manufacturing SMEs across Europe. And to deliver against that belief, we funded 26 transfer technology experiments over a wide range of industry sectors. Let's take a closer look now at one of those projects, Mediscara. Medicor is an established medical device manufacturer facing the challenges of many SMEs Europe-wide. The workflow of production needs to be more agile to be able to feed each customer's needs and not be dependent on fragile supply chains. Furthermore, facing the ultimate challenge of production traceability, which has been done manually at the manufacturing site, giving room for human error. Mediscara is a modular solution developed by HSMA with Medicore together to solve both problems and provide relief for many other European SMEs facing similar challenges backed by the EU's Horizon 2020 program. The pandemic has resulted in many delays for our suppliers, causing delays in our production as well. Our infant incubator canopies are being produced off-site, but if a client wants any modification in shape, we will have to wait up to two months on the supplier. That is why we needed a quicker way of modifying our parts, not to mention going greener and avoiding the environmental effect of transportation. The European Union's new MDR regulation will take effect from May 2024. This needs all manufactured medical devices to be traceable with unique IDs and requires obligatory labeling of all equipment parts. The new regulation means an increased workload for small manufacturers by needing a huge amount of documentation in production. Both challenges require robotics and automation expertise, which HSMA could provide as an experienced robotics tech provider in Hungary. The solutions developed are fully modular and easily modifiable for any manufacturer's needs, not only those from the medical sector. We designed two modularly built robotic cells. The first challenge required a six-axis robot for moving the incubator canopy around the desired cutting path while the second needed automated visual checks for the incubator electronics along with laser marking and labeling the main parts. We created three highly reusable Rose APs powered by Fiverr, which can be utilized by any other manufacturing company. Firstly, both robotic cells needed a master control unit for communication between the factory floor's embedded hardware and the higher level context broker through an IoT agent. All communication is solved with a standardized data structure and can be implemented for any other robotic solution. Another highly reusable element is the manager web application for production tracking and task scheduling, which can be modified to fit other end users' needs. And finally, the new MDR regulation needs a higher level of documentation. That is why we developed an automated PDF document exporter. This takes visual quality checking data from a given database and the PDF is automatically generated from each data set, making it easier for SMEs to document their product flow. All these ROSE APs are RAMP integrated and will be available on RAM Marketplace, giving the possibility to streamline the manufacturing of products for Medicore and other SMEs in Europe. So I'm joined now by Tamas and Attila. Welcome, gentlemen. Nice to have you here. Thomas, can I start with you? Um, traceability is just a huge issue for your industry, for your companies like yours. So how did Metascara go about dealing with this and addressing it? Yes, uh, as you said, traceability is a huge uh, issue and uh, number one priority in the medical sector. And with digitization and robotics, we could uh, achieve the uh, flexibility and agility needed in this. And uh, through this, we would also uh, acquire an automated data collection to uh, have the tra tra traceability solved. And um, with our incubator production line, uh, we could uh, create a system which uh, not only uh, tracks uh, the uh, traces the uh, incubators in production, but also generates automated reports which can be 
traced back uh, through their uh, serial numbers. And um, in uh, this way, we can both be in line with the regulations, with the new regulations, and uh, also uh, produce better in our manufacturing. Great. So you were obviously funded as one of our TTEs. How did you actually find out about DIH Squared? Uh, we were contacted by Balázs Barta of PBN in Hungary, uh, a local evangelist in robotics, who uh, reached out to Medicor about this opportunity to start into uh, robotics. And um, uh, as a relatively small company, we had no experience with robots before. So that was a completely new segment for us. And uh, many of the assemblies uh, were done by hand and also inspection and uh, also um, the uh, input of data into our ERP was done by hand. So that's uh, what, uh, what was manual, we needed to automatize it. And uh, for this task we needed the expertise and uh, support of a technology expert and that's how we got in touch with HSMA. And well, that's where Attila comes in. Yeah. So Attila, this must have been a bit different for you, because normally I imagine it's just you and your client. But here you had DA Squared supporting it. We have robotics experts, we have fireware experts and others. So what was that experience like and what sort of value did you actually get out of it? Yes, Michael. Indeed, we received a large amount of help from all over Europe on both technical and marketing side provided by the DIA Square. I can say that HSMA has been pushed successfully towards the next level of, of scaling up, even though we are not categorized as a startup. Um, due to the support of TIRs, uh, we've been able to uh, achieve the next level of advertisation uh, and emphasize uh, the project's benefits and advantages on a higher level than ever before. And furthermore, the, the report requested, the large amount of report requested from the DIA Square was eventually ended up with a large amount of materials which can be used during and especially after uh, the deployment uh, on, for business purposes. That's great. So, Thomas, you said that um, you didn't have robotics in the factory before. So what's been the workforce's response to suddenly having robots inside the factory? How have they reacted to that? Yes, it was a pretty unknown territory for them. And uh, I don't say that they were afraid, but they had respect uh, of them. Uh, for example, this uh, industrial uh, ro uh, strong uh, robot used in the uh, experiment. But, uh, but generally speaking, it was perceived as, as cool new technology and, and new gadgets, which could uh, make the job easier for them. And also, uh, uh, make the production more efficient. And this is what's important because uh, at Medicor we did not want to take the jobs of people with robots, but rather uh, have robots which cooperate with people and, uh, and make them perform better. Mm, okay. So, Attila, we've been hearing about cobots for a long time now. Do you think this is really the start of a new era where we truly are going to have collaboration, for example, in a manufacturing workplace between humans and robots? Cobots have been around for a very long time, but not exactly on those sectors uh, which require very high precision, accuracy or repeatability. Uh, Cobotics, as we experience in our market, is mostly emerging at SMEs. Um, and the cobots can eventually open up new doors for a company as well as increasing their, their efficiency. However, if we are speaking about large production lines which requires a lot of, uh, of hand-based operation, it is a very risky business to invest to a fully automated production line. We would rather suggest to do it step by step. Therefore, the customer can uh, acclimatize, get familiarized themselves with the system, its capabilities, and uh, ultimately solve their goals. Um, one might say, uh, unlock those bottlenecks. And this is actually what has been done at Medicor, um, where the Mediscara system's power is truly reflecting through their production numbers. Hmm, that's great. So if you were to sum up, Tamash, what has Mediscara delivered to you? What's the, what's the result that you take away from it? 
Uh, Medicare's uh, manufacturing workflow has been constantly evolving to fully cooperate with the Mediscara unit. And I can say that uh, with the incubator production line, we've achieved our goal and uh, our performance uh, has, has increased. Uh, because of the Mediscara unit. And uh, our next uh, chapter in this is to uh, expand the capabilities of the, of the solution and have our uh, full lineup of products uh, in, in this uh, as well. So for, uh, for example, the infant warmers and the uh, blue light phototherapy realms. Mm. Uh, this way, uh, those uh, the bottlenecks in uh, in their production could be solved as well. Great, and Attila for HSMA, what's the outcome? We have been reached out by several companies in the last couple of months, and uh, in fact, uh, two of the robotic cells are currently under uh, under construction using the very same uh, technology uh, and, and software components as the Mediscara. Well, the DI8 Squares network, uh, which, we, which we experienced, is truly uh, important for us because we have got in touch with new partners, uh, new companies at the European level. And therefore, HSMA has been um, more visualized and, and its reputation has increased on the European market. That's great. Okay, so thank you for both very much. I mean, one last question to both of you this time. If you were an SME and you're looking to digitize your manufacturing processes today, tomorrow, what would you say to those SMEs? As a manufacturing company, I would say to keep an open eye for projects like this, because the IA Squared uh, offers these every year. And um, uh, contact your local uh, evangelists in robotics, because they can help you with the automation roadmap and uh, identify the uh, small uh, processes in the, in the workflow, which, which can be uh, automated to make them better. And this way, uh, the whole uh, production process can be elevated to a new level. As a technology provider, I would say don't be afraid to jump into such projects because your company will truly benefit from the network provided by the DI8 Square. And in case if you are a manufacturing company and you already uh, inspected your automation process and would like to reach a specific goal, feel free to reach out because HSMA can surely be a help uh, to achieve those goals. That's great. Thank you both very much.